Federal investigators revealed more about the next steps in the investigation as they try to pinpoint what caused a tractor trailer to hit a bus, killing four college softball players from North Texas. That truck veered into oncoming traffic Friday night on I-35 near Davis, Oklahoma. It slammed into the side of the bus carrying team members from North Central Texas College home to their Gainesville campus. Two of the four players who died are from Collin County, Brooke Deckard from Blue Ridge and Megan Richardson, a Wiley High School graduate. Fox 4's Ahit Arab spoke to one of Megan's coaches and has more now on the investigation and also how those athletes are being honored on campus. Zahid. Well, Heather, the Oklahoma Highway Patrol says the truck driver Russell Staley told investigators on scene that a distraction caused him to crash. But for friends, family, and the softball world, the frustration is we still don't know what distraction. The NTSB hasn't had a chance to interview Staley yet. A spokesperson tells me they're still waiting on permission from his lawyer. Hi, my name is Megan Richardson. I play pitcher as my primary position. An old club softball recruitment video for former Wiley High School student Megan Richardson. Oh, that kid was so competitive. Goodness gracious. She hated losing anything. Chris Moore, a former coach, now family friend. Hard not to love the kid. You couldn't do it. Says it's painful to accept. It's the way things were. Wish we had more in the world like her. It would be a better place. It really would. Students at her school, North Central Texas College in Gainesville, turned the campus into a memorial for Megan and three others killed Friday night when a truck crashed into their team bus. Everybody is in shock and they want to know why. Sometimes in this world there is no why. The NTSB hopes to find out why by splitting up the investigation into seven groups, focusing on three factors. The human, the machine, and the environment. The fact-finding process includes getting 911 calls, medical records of the truck driver, and maintenance records of the truck and bus. That will zero in on if the crash was caused by driver impairment or mechanical malfunction. We want to make sure that those four lives were not lost in vain. So not only will we look at this particular accident moving forward, but we will, we will want to use this accident as a lesson that we can go out and advocate for our recommendations to be implemented. Things happen in this world that we can't explain. My goal is to get college education and play softball at the college level. Memories are a way of holding on to things you love, but to more, the way things are won't always be. I'll see her one day. I'll get to hug that girl again. Not in this life. I'll get to hug her in heaven. I know she's there. Friends say Megan's celebration of life will likely be at the end of the week. Now, the NTSB says investigators will be at the accident scene through the end of the week, but this investigation is just beginning. They say it could be some time before we actually learn a cause. Heather? All right, it's a sad story. Zahid, thank you.